Jack Carstones is a strange game. And here's why. Because there's already a sequel out to it now. With a level creator. And this is my biggest criticism of Jack Carstones. Now this plopped, or flopped, or appeared on the Xbox One Marketplace at the end of last week. It is only uh, $5. Once again, it's coming from a mobile platform. But it's a cracking Wii game. It's quite addictive. And it feels a, a little bit like Hot Wheels on steroids. Although that's uh, something something on steroids is a little bit of a cliche thing to say. But it is quite a lot of fun to play. Visually, the game is quite basic. There's not nothing spectacular. With each level, you get 10 tries, so you're limited in that aspect. But it does offer some fun, fast-paced action. Now, as I said, the two biggest criticisms I had of the game were that uh, it would be nice to have like a head-to-head -head mode. You go head-to-head -head with another player, split-screen or over Xbox Live, and a level creator would be fantastic. Now, they do have that in the sequel, so that's why I said it's strange that they brought the game, this one and not the second one. So I would assume at some point they're going to bring Jack Carr stunts too. But nonetheless, let's talk about the first game. So there's three basic modes. There's platforming, there's time trial and there's the collector. Platforming is get through in a limited amount of tries, no more than 10 tries. Time trial is obviously true in the fastest time and usually it's it's you know set amount of laps. And collector is quite tricky actually because you, even though you would imagine that you're just collecting the tokens around the track, it's not quite that straightforward. To get some of them, you actually have to go a little bit out of your way, let's say, and use your uh, your jet to get there. It's, I haven't quite figured out how to do a lot of it. There's still a lot of play. There's a lot of levels in the game, and of course some of them are very cleverly designed. There's some great loop the loops some gaps to jump. But there is a lot in the game to have a fun with. And there's even a little physics system as well with the crashes and, and the car just crumples apart. It's all very simple stuff, but it is fun. I don't really know if I could score it any more than, than a six. It really is the for you know, as far as I could go with that. I do like the game, I do love it, I, you know, I'm still having a lot of fun with it. There is a good challenge level and it does get tricky and it does get hard, but I give it a good 6 out of 10 and that's a good score for me. Now, check our stunts, check it out. It's $5, 5 euro. It is worth checking out. One of those little in-between the games. I hate saying that about indie titles. But this one is a real little in-betweener. If you like cars and you like flying high, this is one of the biggest keys with the game is managing your jet fuel. Because if you don't manage your jet fuel, you're not going to get across certain jumps. And it does really feel at checkpoints, but you really have to watch what you're doing. I've been Final Spinners. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to leave us a comment down below. And don't forget to click like and subscribe if you like this video. If you want to see more of this kind of content. Adios amigos.